I am preparing to get married at the end of this year. My two older sisters are in my bridal party with my eldest sister being my maid of honor. Both have children, I do not have kids. My eldest sister has three, ages 14, 10 and an almost one-year-old, and my other sister has one child, two years old. My two youngest nieces, my sister's daughters who are under the age of three, will be my flower girls and my other nieces will be junior brides. However, I would like them to attend the ceremony only. My wedding is very small, less than 125 guests, and it is open bar all night and it's $70 per plate. I told my sisters I appreciate them allowing their daughters to be in my wedding ceremony however, I would like them to go back to the hotel when it is time for the reception. The hotel is only 5 minutes away, and there is a free shuttle to and from the hotel to the banquet hall. They both got highly upset with me and saying I'm a jerk for not wanting my nieces at my wedding reception. My eldest sister went as far as to threaten to not pay for things she promised she'd pay for for my wedding. Am I the asshole for not wanting to pay $70 per plate for kids and not wanting small kids around my reception with a bunch of drunk adults? Edit, wow okay, people are assuming she's paying for my entire wedding. She's not. She asked to pay for only the photo booth as a gift to us. Not the entire wedding. Also the wedding is in state not out of state. We got a hotel solely as a precaution for people won't have to drive home drunk due to us doing an open bar. Lastly, I know I said 125 is a small wedding and for some reason that triggered a lot of you. The average size of weddings is over 200. At booking we booked under the small wedding section. So 130 or less is considered a small wedding. Also, there is no children's menu. The price is $70 firm. I hope this clears things up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, upvote, thumbs up, retweet, eat meat, and have a great day.